Uh, so good morning, my name is Lester Hensley, I'm the CEO of MSEAL and welcome to Miami. In Cindy's introduction she mentioned the Miami Marlins and their new stadium, which is in fact an incredible structure if you haven't seen it. These uh, gorgeous columns here support the retractable roof in its open position and uh, it's a structure worth visiting and taking a look at. But as an expansion joint geek, it's more exciting to me that the uh, stadium was knitted together with our uh, all-in-one fire and water resistant expansion joints. So both for the concourses as well as for the walls, uh, these products provide the ability to handle the expected movement of the joints. They waterproof the structure. They are tested to hurricane and tornado resistance for both uh, positive and negative water and air pressure. And built right into them is the fire rating. So I'm here today because I um, want to give you an update on the capabilities of these products. And to do that, I'm going to take you back in history just a little bit through the development. This entire series of, of products that we continue to invest in uh, every year with additional UL testing is uh, developed under the UL 2079 protocol, which includes uh, cycling of the joint system followed by uh, the, the burning tests to determine the fire rating, and in the case of wall systems, a hose stream test to simulate the um, impact of falling debris during a fire. So our development began with products for uh, decks and floors and included our DFR, deck fire rated systems, and their associated pick resistant security seal systems for floor joints. It was followed shortly by systems for walls. Uh, WFR, wall fire rated, and also its associated um, pick resistant security seal option um, came out. And in order to break this paradigm of being able to provide a system um, suitable to the UL 2079 protocol, we focused our original development on certain conservative goals. The first was uh, total 50% movement, so plus 25, minus 25% movement of the nominal size of the material. Our development uh, then focused on the development of systems for larger joints. So we came out with the uh, seismic deck fire rated system that you saw in the picture in the Marlins. So this is a product that can go all the way up to 10 inches, handle 100% movement, and um, is suitable to these larger joints that we're seeing uh, as a result of seismic code in consolidated rental car facilities, in stadiums, etc. We then brought out the first ever UL listed uh, expansion joint system for integration into buried deck membrane systems on hardscaped uh, plaza decks. And we were able to, as we were iterating and learning from our prior experience, uh, able to achieve 100% movement capability in these products. So now we had 100% movement products in decks, we had 50% movement products in walls, and it was always the intention to iterate to bring that curve together. So these products uh, came out. Um, we've had a number of patents awarded on the technology in recognition of the advancement of this. We had three patents awarded in 2013 and another three in 2014. And that adds to a long list of innovation in the expansion joint fields recognized by the US Patent and Trade Office. So we went back to look at increasing movement capability. And when you look at um, what we did to achieve the first technologies of this type was we incorporated what you see in the red line behind the colored coating is a flexible intermescent uh, heat shield. And that was done conservatively in order to uh, benefit from the first investments in our UL testing. Each time we go back to UL, we're spending tens of thousands of dollars, so we like to try to have some assurance that we can recoup some of the return on that investment in testing. But we, the test results that came back from our early testing were so far, uh, the, the values of the temperatures on the back side of the product were so far below the uh, pass requirements for UL 2079, we knew eventually we could iterate beyond the requirement of the intermescent. So the new products uh, that are out look almost identical from the face, but you notice that the, the flexible intermescent layer is no longer there. So what's new? Well, there's no intermescent layers on the product. We also took the opportunity during this iterative testing to test the uh, theories of the utilization of the, in the build of the foam. 
MCL has always used uh, vertically situated um, compression bonded laminations of foam to build up the back, the body of the, of the product. We do this because it gives us a great way to control the dispersion of the um, impregnation throughout the layers of the foam. Um, it has been asserted that larger blocks of foam um, oriented horizontally instead of vertically somehow is, is a better performing system. We're capable of doing both, so we did actually test both uh, in this last round of UL testing and found that either build makes no difference to, to the ultimate performance. And then, of course, we achieved the 100 total uh, percent total movement capability of the product. So what we end up with is 100% movement, fire and water resistant expansion joints for decks and floors, as well as for walls. For decks and floors, we can handle joints up to four inches before transitioning to the SJSFR system, which runs from four to 10 inches with the non-invasively anchored integral cover plate. And for walls, we can go up to six inches uh, nominal with 100% movement capability. So what's the coolness of it? Well, this product has really changed the way that the industry fire rates expansion joints. Um, the, there, there's still a market and a place for fire blankets, but fire blankets that are uh, invasively anchored, need to, uh, often need access to the underside of the slab, etc., have uh, in many cases been replaced by this new technology. So this, this concept of non-invasive anchoring is, is exactly what it suggests, and that is that there are no hard connections to the substrates. There's no screwing, there's no anchors, there are no uh, power shots, and all of these anchors that complicate installation also can act as thermal bridges into the substrates. So the product installs very quickly and easily, even at inside corners that are very difficult places to work with uh, mechanically fastened systems. Joins are quick and easy to make. Uh, there's a sealant supplied to join the bellows and an intermescent material for the joins uh, to ensure continuity of the fireproofing. And of course, as with everything that MSEAL does, continuity of seal, and in this case, continuity of fire protection is assured through the availability of custom and universal 90s. These are factory fabricated assemblies that make the installation at offsets and changes in plane and direction a snap. You don't have to have your crews uh, fabricating that or deal with the liability of fabricating that poorly in the field. These also allow the transition from joints in the vertical plane to joints in the horizontal plane. And speaking of the horizontal plane, I mentioned underside access. This is the bottom side of a, of a deck at a split column. And what you can see is that the other trades have already been through prior to the need to install a fire blanket. This project had fire blankets specified on it, but that when they went to install it, they had uh, realized that the access was impossible and the split columns were going to interrupt the continuity of the, of the fire protection through the columns. So in the, the hanging of anchors uh, of, of fire blankets, um, you don't need now to worry about access. You don't need to worry about fall protection. And uh, these are uh, one of our members' crews at the, the Meadowland Stadium installing blankets while having to push electrical wiring and everything out of the way from the underside. So instead, you work entirely from the floor surface. So there's uh, really quick access, great productivity, and you can run the material straight through the split columns, ensuring continuity of seal and of fire protection. As important as the product is what's behind the product. And what's behind the product as it relates to MSEAL are the 100 dedicated people that are here to serve you and make sure that your project gets the right product for the, for the application. And this starts with our regional managers out in the field, goes to our inside technical team that are there every day to, to answer your questions and to customize things, all the way through our logistics teams and our engineering teams uh, that customize the product to each and every application we supply. And speaking of that engineering team, the capability of these um, M-Shield fire and water resistant uh, products doesn't, is not uh, restrained to what we have in UL listings. We have done actually hundreds of internally produced uh, finite element analysis studies on particular conditions to suit the, the circumstances on your jobs. So what you see here are 
the image outputs of the finite element analysis um, work done in our engineering team to take a particular product from the range and model it in the circumstances that you have for a particular project. And then we back those uh, finite element analysis, uh, analyses done internally up with third party uh, engineered judgments that are signed off on uh, by qualified engineers. And we do a lot of that work with our member partner here, Simpson Gumpitz and Hager. So whether you are sealing the uh, treads and rises of the bleacher system at uh, Baylor Bears or the massive seismic joints at the Levi's Stadium in the lower bowl or perhaps an airport, this one in Bogota, Colombia, or even simply a subterranean parking garage attached to a hospital in Egypt, we have a fire and water resistant expansion joint with 100% movement capability for every application. So thank you very much. <laughs>